For the past 10 days, I have been working like an insane person. I've been working on a project for Netflix, which has been very, very exciting. I haven't gotten anything that exciting in a year, basically. But they also requested that the project be finished before the new year. And I knew that was really going to be pushing it. So this was a lot, lot of work in a very short amount of time. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna very quickly get tired of this room. <laughs> No, sunlight needs to be boom like that, not boom like that. It was in like boom like that. Help. <laughs> 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 Help. Oh, I just pressed on the gas. Good thing you didn't put it in drive. <laughs> I'm, I don't feel like I've been a person for the past 10 days. That's not to say that I didn't have fun because this was a fun project, but the past 10 days have been the hardest because we were shooting for eight of the past 10 days. So that means like on set, eight to 12 hour days, always, usually, usually more like 10 to 12 hour days every single day. <sighs> So that's what I've been doing for the past 10 days. The house is a complete and utter disaster. So I hired my brothers to work on this project with me. They came all the way from Indiana and I just dropped them off at the airport. So finally, I have my house to myself. Daniel is also out of town right now at a work retreat. He'll be back tomorrow night. So, I should have the next 24 hours all to myself, all to do whatever I want. So I decided I would film a video, 24 hours, pampering myself after a 10 day work bender. Now, cleaning is part of self care, so I will be cleaning the house because I just, I feel like a mess on the inside if my house is not clean. So I will be cleaning. But I got about six hours of sleep last night. It is time for a nap. And then after that, we will see what I will do to pamper myself next. I don't, I don't know how to do the lighting for this. I let myself take a nap without an alarm, which was really nice. But then I had like bad dreams for like a lot of my nap. So I'm probably just going to sit here on my phone for a while. Okay, everyone, small update. Can you even see me? I don't know. So, I actually got out of bed. Wow. I did my makeup even because I did not do my makeup for like 10 days now because I was working so much and there was no need for me to look good. I just looked like trash for 10 days straight. So, I just really wanted to look nice for once. So I'm still dressed very comfy, but I am at least wearing makeup. And right now I am going to Sally Beauty because I think tomorrow I want to try doing my nails at home. I saw somebody, I can't remember where, I saw them using one of those LED nail lamps at home. And I was like, maybe if I got one of those, my nails would not like fall off after two seconds. So I ordered a nail lamp on Amazon today and I'm gonna go to Sally Beauty and see if they have gel nail polish because I don't have any of that. Um, and they close in 30 minutes so I have to go. Just went to Sally and I bought a base coat, top coat, and the pink color that I always like. Problem is the base coat was $25. The others were more reasonable, like 13 or 15 or something. Um, but 25 is absolutely insane. Are base coats supposed to cost that much? I really don't think so. Okay, I am back. So now I think I'm gonna eat because I'm literally so starving, I feel like I'm gonna die. And maybe I will start something new on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Just finished dinner. Just finished watching my show on Netflix. Um, I started In the Dark. I don't know if I like it yet. It's interesting, but I don't know if it's like 
my vibe. I I am so tired again, even though I took that, I slept for an hour and a half or two hours, something like that. But I could, I could go to bed right now. I could seriously go to bed right now. And it's only 8.30. So I think I'm probably gonna try to clean up a little bit at least. And then I'll do more cleaning tomorrow. I really should stay up at least until 11 or something. I If I go to bed earlier, I'll just wake up in the middle of the night, like 4 a.m. Oh, I think I'm gonna do more research on these nail polishes that I got to see like which brands are actually good. I really don't wanna keep the $25 base coat. I'm back, it is now 10 p.m. I did some cleaning. I'm gonna try to stay up until midnight. I honestly never go to bed as early as midnight. It's usually 1 a.m. Okay, to continue my self-care 24 hours, I think I'm going to take a bath and try to drink a lot of water while I'm in the bath. And what am I gonna do in the bath? Probably watch YouTube or maybe Netflix. There's a French music documentary I've been wanting to watch. And of course, I'm learning French, so I wanted to watch the documentary in French, but again, that sounds like probably too much work for today. Something's wrong with my brain because I feel like I don't have the attention span for a full, like, hour-long TV show anymore. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's like 11 a.m. but um, the curtains are closed and they will remain closed. <laughs> I don't really feel like getting out of bed so I think I'll probably start watching that French music documentary I was talking about. So I finished my French music documentary and it was really great. So after I watched the documentary, I got really sleepy. I took a nap. So after that, I got up, I took a shower, and now I am so excited because I think my nail stuff has come in the mail, so I'm gonna open those. Yes! Okay, so here is the UV nail light, which I guess is not UV. It's, L I don't know. It's LED UV. I don't know what that means. Okay, so before I paint my nails, I really need to clean the house. I'll be back when that is done. Okay, I'm back. The house is looking so much better. There we go. All, okay, this part is not clean. Don't look at that part. This part looks nice. The bed is made. Plants watered. Okay, very excited. I'm gonna open this up now. I decided to get one that had it. it, has timers on it. So I'm supposed to put on the base coat and then it takes 10 seconds to cure under the light. So I'm gonna wash my hands first. Okay, so now it's on. Are you not supposed to look at LED light? Okay. Smells like a nail salon. I have definitely not ever smelled that at home. Okay. Uh, I'll do five seconds and then five seconds. Okay, and 
then five seconds. Apparently this coat takes 10 seconds to... Okay, I, I think it's done. So I'm gonna move on to the color now. Cure for 30 seconds in LED light or two minutes in UV light. Okay. It's going on really nice. It's not all streaky and patchy like the stuff I usually use. Oh, this is weird. Okay, um, 30 seconds, I believe it said. It looks so good already. I think it's dry. Oh, I like, this is blowing my mind right now. I only messed up my pinky a little bit because it's my smallest finger. I will probably mess up again. I'm gonna keep going until I've done how many coats? One more coat perhaps two max. Um, I will, I'll come back when I'm done. This is seriously blowing my mind right now. They're basically dry or it's crazy how after 30 seconds they are literally dry. You can't like touch them or poke them. Like they're not totally hardened yet. So I'm gonna call it a day with two coats and I'm going to use the top coat now. Okay. I hope that's good enough. Oh, 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 oh. Need to fix that. You can see really easily how bad you did in the uh, LED light, which again, I should probably not be staring at. Ooh, they feel kind of warm. You can see where you messed up because it looks all, it glows like a black light. Okay, well. They seem nice and glossy, and I don't think I can touch them for a minute. It's definitely not the same texture as when you have to wait for regular nail polish to dry. Oh, this is not done yet. Does it need to cure more? Or does it just need to wait? Maybe I think I'll just cure it some more, I guess. I don't. Well, I just cured this some more. I don't know if that does anything. Okay, uh, camera battery is charged and sun is basically gone. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, spooky, weird. Yeah, I mean, if you had your nails done before, you know what this looks like, but I think I definitely screwed that up. Here is the finished product. Not terribly um, interesting or intricate or anything. This was not very difficult. Um, and honestly, the gel polish is, in my opinion, way easier to work with than regular nail polish. Regular nail polish seems to always go on super uneven, really streaky. This did not go on like that. It went on just the way you always want nail polish to go on. It seems like it was just actually working the way you want it to. Okay, so I was sitting here waiting for my nails to stop being sticky. And then I remembered that when I was reading about these UV nail lights, it said to wipe your nails with a cotton ball soaked in isopropyl alcohol afterwards and it will remove the sticky finish and then your nails are finished. So let's see if that actually works. I'm kind of scared to mess it up, but well, this seems like it's working. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it, it worked. Oh my word, I actually have a gel manicure that I did to myself, I can't even believe it. So go ahead and take a look. Now look. Smooth. Not sticky, not tacky. It feels exactly like the salon. I am so excited. Next time I want to try the like cuticle thing because I ordered one of those on Amazon. It looks so good. It There's definitely mistakes. Like you can see this one does not look that good. So I definitely did not do like a salon quality 
job, but they look fine from far away. Let's hope. They feel like they're gonna stay. They feel strong. I just can't stop feeling them. They feel so good. Daniel's probably gonna be home pretty soon from his retreat. So my 24 hours of pampering is coming to an end. So that is pretty much the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And guys, oh my gosh, the next one, I'm so excited about it. Here's a hint of what it's gonna be about. That's all you get, okay, bye.